Hi, in this video I just wanted to take you through the NVIDIA DSR or Dynamic Super Resolution and the NVIDIA MFAA multi-frame anti-alias which is available on um, the NVIDIA 960s and up and you can enable this technology I'll leave a link for the two pages here um, through your actual game card settings. So the MFAA here, um, this, if you click the watch now, it will give you a fairly nice video that explains how that works. And it adds to the 4K resolutions which you'll be using with the DSR. So they kind of work in combination with one another to help improve the overall look of your game. And it really doesn't have any performance impact by using this. So what I'll do is with DSR or Dynamic Super Resolution you can set your 1920 by 1080 monitors up to 4K settings on a 1920 by 1080 monitor. If you have a 4K monitor then it's nice because you can use right up to the 4K settings for your older games that wouldn't have supported those higher settings. And with that, what you want to do is go into your control panel. So if you're on Windows 10, an easy way to get there is you can right click this and you'll have a menu like mine that just came up but it will be much larger and you'll see control panel listed on there. Now I'm on Windows 7 so I'll just do it this way and once you're here you want to go into your NVIDIA control panel and this is where you'll access those settings in order to enable them for your games or other programs that you're using it with. And you either want to double click on that if your double click doesn't work just right click and you can also say open that way so I'll just open this up and what you want to do is go to your manage 3d settings up here and then you want to go through your global settings and the MFAA doesn't work with every game but by enabling in here if it does work with a game then it will be enabled and I'll show you how you can check that. So as far as the DSR what you want to do is go to the DSR line here and check all the boxes so that you have all the various 4K resolutions right up to the 3800 and you just say OK and this here the DSR smoothness that's actually sharpness that's just their way of saying sharpness. So if you want to get the sharpest picture available, you're going to want to put that up to 100% by just sliding the bar up. And then as far as the MFAA, it's just a couple lines down right here, the multi-frame sampled AA, and you just want to enable that and what that will do is if the game supports it then the function will be available to it and once you've set those settings and um, you'd have an apply button so then everything's all set and you can close the control panel but then you want to go to the GeForce experience and here you can verify your um, settings for both DSR as well as your MFAA and um, I found that actually all the Fallout 3, um, Fallout New Vegas as well as Fallout 4 all seem to have the MFAA and all you have to do is go all the way down to the bottom of the settings and you'll see it listed here and I have it turned on and it's available in game so I'll be able to use that. Now not all games do support it though. Um, something like Dead Space 3. It's about the same um, made around the same time as some of the Fallout games but as you can see it has no MFAA listing at the bottom. It does support the resolution 
as you can see I'm running the DSR setting rather than the 1920 by 1080 but if you notice my games aren't all optimized and that's because in some cases such as um, Fallout 4 I have some um, optimizations that I've added to the game so the game performs a lot better for me than it normally would so I'm using ultra settings instead of high settings and I'm using um, various other settings that are higher than what a system that I have would normally use um, see including the resolution uh, my shadow distance shadow quality and it even wants me to turn off the multi-frame um, however because I do have the game optimized I can run it with all these settings here so I don't need to use the NVIDIA to optimize it the GeForce experience now in the case of um, Dead Space 3 um, all it really wants to do is change my resolution so I could say optimize and then you just want to click the custom gear here and you can change the resolution right here and I actually find that the 2100 or actually the 23 right up to the 25 here these three here are usually your best settings for 1920 by 1080 um, as far as performance because my system I use a 960 it's a decent card but um, by today's standards it's a little older so I tend to use the 2100 setting and then so now I've set the DSR setting there and I can apply it and my game still optimized but now it's using the DSR setting now with the Fallout 4 because I don't want to use the GeForce to optimize it as it will lower my settings rather than improve my settings you want to go to the actual launcher for the game and then you can set the resolution there and as you can see I have the higher resolutions I checked all the boxes so it goes right up to the 34 or sorry 3840 by 2160 which if you're using a 4k monitor that's a perfect setting to have and once I've selected it then I just say OK and you can play the game um, and you'll have the higher resolution running at that point but again um, I didn't for that game use the GeForce experience always check before you actually um, do that see in this case I happen to be using a um, E and B so I have to have my anti-alias off although it does recommend that I have it on if I do op optimize it then it will disable the one mod function for the mod that I'm using so you have to take things like that into consideration too but basically that that sums up how you can tell as you can see there's no MFAA again in Dishonored um, let's see Dishonored 2 um, yes it does support it and so you'll find games that you didn't think supported it or games that you may have thought might have supported it you can verify it right here see even Half-Life 2 it supports it so this kind of just gives you an insight into optimizing your games with the GeForce experience when using the DSR and MFAA and as I said I will leave links to the um, two pages here which explain the technology and as I said it's available on 960s and above but check the um, notes anyways because originally it said 970s but I found my 960 worked so I I know for a fact that the 960s will support it so check the information and um, I'm sure it will answer any of your questions and as I said the MFAA does have quite a nice video that explains the technology and 
it it's just as good as um, two times MSAA is according to the video but the technology itself doesn't use the same resources it it doesn't have the same impact that MSAA would have so look into these and hopefully this has helped and I hope you enjoy your games I'll talk to you again thanks a lot